In this video, you will learn to conceptualize fractions in terms of multiplication. We are familiar with the part-whole conception of fraction. The fraction A over B is typically understood as A out of B equal parts. For example, three-fifths of a rectangle means there are three out of five parts in the rectangle. So if this is one rectangle, we cut into five equal parts and shade three of them. So that is like three out of five. So here we are going to learn fraction differently. So here we see fraction as using multiplication as a product of number of parts and the size of each part. So the size of each part is always a unit fraction. So in this case, 1 over b is a unit fraction. So for example, 3 fifths of a rectangle can be understood as there are three parts. And each part is, has a size of 1 fifth of the rectangle, right? So it means there are three pieces and each piece is 1 fifth of the rectangle. So let's connect this to the definition of multiplication. So we can understand multiplication as a product of a multiplier and multiplicand. So the multiplier refers to the number of groups and the multiplicand refers to the number of units in each group. So product is the total number of units in all the M groups. So for example, 3 times 5 equals 15 can be understood as there are three groups and each group has five dots. So they are all together 15 dots. Now, how is this related to conceptualizing fraction as a product? So, so this is what I call multiple units fractions, conception of fraction. So here I'm conceptualizing A or B as a product of A times 1 over b. That means there are a parts and each part has the size of 1 over b of a unit. So the product is just a over b of the unit. So as we have seen, 3 fifths can be understood as 3 times 1 fifth. So this is related to conceptualizing multiplication as repeated addition. So 3 times 5 can be seen as 5 plus 5 plus 5. So 3 times 1 fifth can be seen as 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. Now, this way of conceptualizing fractions, it's conceptually more beneficial for students because it helps them see fractions as having two components, the number of parts, and they have to pay attention to the size of each part. With that, I thank you. Hopefully this video has helped you.